Hello and welcome back and today I'm going to talk about how to transfer games from your PS4 to your PS5 with a USB stick. First thing you need to do is make sure your PlayStation 4 is switched on and the USB drive is connected. From here then go into the settings menu, scroll down to the devices tab and from here you're going to be able to see your connected available drive. Just go down to USB storage devices and the drive will appear. Regardless of how you've formatted it, the system will invite you to format the drive to the PlayStation's own system. Go ahead and confirm format, but bear in mind that it will wipe the drive. It should be quick, regardless of the size. Then on your PS4, once the drive has been formatted, then head back into the settings menu where you will be able to go through your games and transfer games one by one over to the USB storage drive. So from here, head back into that settings menu, but this time go down to the storage option. Look out for that icon. Go down to the extended storage option, go above it and go into system storage. The listing for applications will take a bit of time as this is the larger amount of data. It can take a few minutes. Let's fast forward. From here, go into this menu and press X on the games that you want to transfer over to the extended storage or click options to allow multiple games to be selected. Each one of these games will be transferred over to the USB extended storage for use on both of your PS4 and PS5 depending on which system it's connected to. Bear in mind however that once you copy a game over to the USB, you are in fact moving the entirety of the game and you won't be able to have a copy of it on both the PS4 and the PS5 unless you download them independently rather than using the USB. I'm going to go ahead and select several of these games to transfer over depending on their size. Once you've selected all your games, click move and then the next window will invite you to confirm the games you want to move to extended storage. This can take a varied amount of time depending on the size of the games you're choosing to transfer over and the speed of the multimedia you're choosing, be it hard drive media or solid state drive media. Once it's done, depending on the amount of time it will take, the PlayStation 4 will then re-display the main list of games to exit that list. Simply tap circle out, tap circle again from the storage manager and as you can see in the storage applications tab, it's now filled with data. From here, you can go back into the main menu and play the games. And as you can see, games that are now on the USB storage drive will appear on the extended storage volume. As you can see at the bottom right of the list here for Grand Theft Auto 5. On the PS5, it will show an extended storage option. For now, go back into the settings option and get ready to migrate this drive over. Go into the drive or devices option. From here, go into USB storage devices. From here, click the drive and then click stop using the extended storage. This will allow you to safely dismount the USB storage drive for connection to your PS5. Now on your PS5, make sure you've booted the PS5 all the way through to the graphical user interface here. You would have been invited to transfer data over during your initial setup over the network, but for now, we're focusing on migrating data over with a USB stick, thereby not having to download the whole data all over again, which can cost us a lot of gigabytes, and those on slow or metered connections will suffer. Now, when you're first connecting the drive, don't use one of the front USB ports. As you can see, the system will ask you not to. What you need to do is make sure that you connect this particular US dr USB drive to the rear USB port. These are still both USB 3.1 Gen 2 connections, however they are on the rear of the system. So make sure to make your way to the back of your PlayStation 5 system to connect the drive. Now some of you may have the system in different directions, horizontal or vertically, and so you may need an extra pointer to tell the difference. It's nice and simple, the front port where the power button is, which has two different USB ports, do not connect this external drive for extended storage to this port. The rear of the device that has the main fan assembly and all the ports and connections ranging from HDMI to more, connect this drive to there and it will automatically appear on 
the desktop of your PlayStation 5 user interface. A little bit of time will pass, mere seconds in fact, while the system identifies that a USB drive has been connected. And once it recognises the drive as extended storage, the system will automatically list these drives accordingly. Games that are on the extended drive will have the small icon in the top right of their graphic, allowing you to see that these games are not on the core PlayStation 5 system, but are in fact on the extended PlayStation extended storage USB drive. And that's about it. It's that straightforward to transfer games over and they can be played just as simply as any other game. You just click on the icon and it will play. If you disconnect the USB drive at any point, it will simply not display the list of games on screen and you can still connect the USB drive to your PlayStation 4 if needed. Next up on our next video, we are going to be looking at transferring games over the network. And then after that, we'll talk more and more about other data practices to make the most of your PlayStation 5. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.